previously on Two Past Midnight. Captain, what's the plan? Do we have a goal of how far we want to go each day? Well, I mean, I had some thoughts on that. You know, I feel like if we're not pushing ourselves a little bit, are are we actually getting there before the trail goes cold anyhow? I'm fine with the extra marching. It's just... You know what I mean. We we have been through it. There's a tortoise and a hare analogy here, though. No, I love it. It's, It's like riding the horse until they are fully lathered and will not go any farther. And your son, do you actually think you'll find him here? I mean, if I didn't have hope that I could find him, what would I be doing? So, a nice little optimistic uh, ending to an episode last time. Red sky in the morning, sailor take warning. I'm not... (laughs) I don't think anyone drank water yesterday, by the way. Just letting you know. I did. Make sure y'all use up a water ration. I removed the water and food from my character sheet. Yeah, I I did also when I did them both. I, I I break fast. I don't do dinner. Okay. And I've already removed food and water for this day. So Okay. So what is y'all's plan? I believe it's time for Revelry. Yeah, I believe it's time we get moving. Yeah, you do that, you're going to look like the, the guy with the guitar in Animal House. I'm, I'm going to need verification on that. Is that a thing the English do as well? <laughs> I have no idea. Masking the fans. No idea. <laughs> We've got a couple <laughs> British fans. Is that the same <laughs> Reveille song? Did you guys play Chicken Fat? <laughs> so what are you guys going to do? What's your plan? I mean, once we wake up the other two, we would uh, we get to moving again. Okay. Follow your lead, Captain. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I mean, it would be uh, Murph, I'm going to need you to take point, and we'll start heading up the road. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. I will do my best today, Captain, to uh, keep up, but I make no promises. Like I told you before, that's all I'm looking for. I just need your guys' best. Whatever that is, that's what it is. You shall have it. All right, so... Whatever you guys are doing, what direction are you going, who's navigating, and who's, uh, I'm assuming, Chris's recon. Yes, Chris's recon. Um, we're on a road now, so we shouldn't need survival, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. If that's the, the route you're going. So, yes, yeah. we're going to stick to the road now. now to try and get the, the two hexes per shift. Okay. And I get a bonus on recon? Uh, No. I thought you did for uh, road. binoculars. Not for road. You don't get a bonus no. for recon. No, you don't. Not for road. Unless you can find where it says that in the player's manual. No, it's fine. I <laughs> no, I'm not looking. <laughs> no, I'm not looking that up. <laughs> I'm just going to throw out an arbitrary bonus. I think I should get. It's not because <laughs> well, I thought it says we. For... I thought we did previously um, when we were going to Krakow for nope. watch, but not for traveling. I think is the loose rule because it's actively. Because it's actively surveilling a thing. Well, he just meant for the road, and I'm saying no. Yeah, let's get loose. Uh, no. Like, no, there's not a bonus from the road. We stop it in the town. No, we're going. We're moving. We're going to keep moving. Road hex. Yeah, that- it looks like we're going right through two towns, basically back to back. We're going to have to Mieko? see what happens. I'm rolling Mieko? lots of tens today. Ten and a five for recon. Nice. Hey, Captain. Yes, sir. We got a lot of ruins going through here. Do you think it'd be in our best interest to uh, try to find anything in this? Siphle through the wreckage at all, or we just gotta keep moving? Uh, no, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep right on moving. I mean, uh, well, I just unless you're looking for some kind of snow globe or a magnet that says we were here, I'd say we probably should just keep right on moving along. Well, supplies and money have been kind of a little bit shy, and with no, you know, this is a marathon, not a sprint. For some of us, because we've we got a long way going and not a lot of supplies, so just a little forethought. I 100 percent agree. Yes, sir. Point of order: that's not ruins; that's a town. 
Uh, ruins would be the the bunches of dots. Like, uh, hold on. For the sake of scrounging, it's a bonus area. Like the, the like this. Yeah. This would be the the ruins. Gotcha. That's just urban. Yeah, it's just a a a bonus to scrounging is what I look at it at. It is it. Mm-hmm. I believe that's on our our uh, our main page uh, header. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's like we even discussed just before the episode before not well two episodes ago it would have been five episodes ago it would have been anyhow you <laughs> tried to scrounge when we were over by the bridge and he basically said there's nothing to scrounge here so you can forge if you want and you found one foraging <laughs> so and even if there isn't shit to find in there if there are any kind of ruins things that would, and it's the end of the day that would be a good place to make camp also yet again not ruins it's it's a village. Understood. <laughs> and even still, that's not where we're ending the shift at. So, yeah, we just started. We're if if we're gonna try to make the kind of time that Emmett wants to make, we're blowing right past it. Yeah, we're because we we're at, if as we're following the road, we can go two hexes a shift. So we're looking at four hexes out if we can keep moving. Vladistal is not far after that. Well, we can actually skip it all together because if we go, if we go north of Hex, north two, that's still got a road in it, and then follow the road that way. We don't even have to deal with the other two towns. Yeah. Well, we'd still have to go past Jidrizhau. Yeah, because that's got that that's got the fork in the road. It's the there, same too. Hex. Yeah. Yeah. So. But yeah, that's where and that's where we would be. That's where we would be making camp at. Actually, one, two, three, four. That's four hexes. Yep. By the way, Kyle, there is a thing called a quick search. There is. Don't tell him this. Why would you no, tell okay. him this? Two years. Sometimes in. you might want to make a quick search for scrap in a smaller area without spending a full shift. The referee only allow this areas where there is likely to be scrap present, such as a settlement of some kind. A quick search requires no dice roll and gives you a free roll on the scrap table. This does not count as scrounging, and you can still spend the main part of the shift doing something else. Uh, You can also still scrounge the hex you're in even after a quick search. The problem is, I don't think you can do that while marching because there's only certain other actions you can do while marching, and I don't think a quick search. So is if one of we them. had stopped in one but of those, but then when places, would a quick search apply? A free bon- well, like like we could both make camp and do a quick search if we while hunting, stopped there. for example. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, because I'm I'm just I, I'm also just trying to realize like somebody's going to end up dead. You have now that's like the third nice thing that's happened since we started this evening. And <laughs> all right, so you guys. Do not get lost, and because you rolled well enough, or we don't have to roll survival. And what did you get, Chris? Did you roll recon yet on this? Yes, I rolled a 10 and a 5, so two successes. I said I've been rolling lots of 10s. All right. Go ahead and move to where y'all are going, then. All right, so you can make it past that uh, Michauf town and kind of circumvent around it, and as you start heading into that next hex up ahead you see Chris a BTR uh, APC up ahead one of the Soviet tanks like the APCs I mean Mm -hmm. I think we should go say hi (laughs) no (laughs) I stop and hustle back to those guys Mm-hmm. Uh, what were there uh, troops in the open around it, or is it just the BTR in the road? Just the BTR. It looks like they got some kind of version of maybe a checkpoint. It's just a vehicle. It's one APC, but it's right there yeah. on the road. Yeah, it looks like they set up a roadblock. So, but there are no troops around it. Is it just the vehicle without any individuals near it? None that I could see. That doesn't mean there aren't any. Does it look like it runs? Did you see any movement out of it? No movement, but it looks like a checkpoint. 
kind of perpendicular on the road. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. Well, we got two people with sniper rifles back here. If you want to post her back. Again, noise, attention. Um, Adam, can I uh, use the infiltrator to sneak up a little bit closer and see if I can locate And try to people? recon them to get a better assessment of it? Yeah, I'm cool with that. And then get the yeah. bonus from the binoculars. Yep, 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 yep. So go ahead and roll your recon. Normal, just your normal recon. We'll, we'll do it this way. You guys stay here. I'm going to go see if I can see if there's any personnel on the ground in the surrounding area, etc. All right. Nine and a nine. Nines are wild. Okay. I would pull out the drag now and kind of survey the area from a distance. From a distance. There is harmony. And it go. <laughs> <laughs> he just kept going. <laughs> Sorry. Now it's stuck in my head for the rest of the night. You got two successes, Chris? <laughs> yes, it was two nines. All right. So, yeah. So you sneak up, you know, a little bit so you can just get like a, a good view of it. And um, you're waiting there for a bit with the binoculars kind of like watching them and you can you see the back hatch of it open up and you can see like a guy come out it's kind of like goes over and takes a piss basically and like goes you know you see him like he's talking to somebody back in the APC and he kind of like looks down the road looks back over goes walking back into the APC you see the this other guy kind of like pop open the one of the hatches on it so we can kind of see out a little bit better and um that's what you got. But they didn't seem to be communicating with anybody else out in the field. Mm. I mean, visually, I didn't see that. No, no, you still just see the APC. Mm. All right, I'll make my way back. But they're wearing Soviet uniforms, things of the sort. Yeah, they look like regular Soviet army, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I got good news and bad news, guys. Good news is I only saw two guys. Well, well, one guy come out and he seemed to be communicating with somebody and the dude popped his head out. Doesn't mean there aren't more in the APC, but I didn't see anybody in the surrounding area. A working vehicle would be a game changer for us. Quite right. That's true, but taking it could also be a game changer for us as in less of us. Yeah, because, Adam, those have a, uh, that's the the BTR, that's uh, what we had in the uh, the church fight, right? Mm-hmm. That's what we fought against in the church fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what, sorry, that's what we encountered. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got a pretty good-sized main gun on it. A very good-sized main gun on it. And in addition to machine guns. I think the main gun is a 20 mil or something like that, or something close. Um, yeah, I, I think you're right. I think it's got a 20 millimeter cannon. Or whatever the Russian equivalent is. Yeah. Um, Their version of a Bradley. Well, gentlemen, I mean, we can... Taking it would be a game changer, but at the same time, I feel like we would just... We would lose more than we would gain trying to get it. I think we'd probably it be has a KPV on it. That's it. Term out. Okay. And a radio. I mean, if we keep going around every single thing, we're not going to make it. The the newer, higher end versions have a thirty millimeter cannon. Yep, but it's a BTR seventy. So it's a Russian fifty cal, effectively. Yeah. Yeah, but also vehicles attract attention, and we're in a rush. We'd be in a Russian vehicle. You are in this too much noise, too much this, too much noise. Everything's noise. I'm a sniper, fool. Then snipe these guys and get us a BTR. Again, this is what you do. You need somebody to talk. I can talk. You're supposed to kill things. Do less of that. 
I know. Be very, very quiet. Now, exactly how many individuals did you see inside Two the Two people. We're, I mean, we, 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 we've got twice as many as we, they do. You don't know if there's not more inside. Again, we sent a guy to look, and he came back and said there's two people. I'm the guy that looked. Yeah, I figured you'd catch on to that. I can't guarantee that. I'm I'm quite good with rifle. We have three people with long-distance rifles here. So what are we saying, gentlemen? What are you saying, Captain? Let, let, well, hold, hold on. Let, let's play this. Let's play this out. Let's say, on the off chance, we are able to take out both guys, even though I've only seen one exit. Their SOP is probably not to both leave the vehicle at the same time, but let's, let's four shits and giggles, say that's the case. Then what? You have the BTR. Then what? We go very fast, and then uh, avoid as much as we can. And make better time. Drive it till the wheels fall off. That is it. It is a disposable thing. If it comes under too much fire, we abandon it. And you don't think that's going to attract attention? I think our biggest concern right now is the fact that we have, what, a week's worth of walking to do? And we have probably, what, five days of rations between us? And the vehicle could be a deterrent. People may think like us. I don't want to fuck with that. I get it. If nothing else, we'd be moving along a little quicker. I don't know how much fuel's in it. It might have a it could be drop empty. in the tank. That's why it's just sitting there. Emmett, you want me to go set up? I will set up. I will wait them out. And I first time somebody comes out, I'll take a set off. Or we can bypass it entirely and be on our way, Captain. What do you guys think? Do you guys think you can take that shot? Do you guys think we can get this vehicle without losing any of us? Again, we've got a guy here that I've heard nothing but stories about how he's, you know, can murder people from a distance and everything. And all I've seen him do is punch civilians in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's not murder. It's combat. Okay, then combat them. Emmett, if you want to do it, we'll, we can spread out. Get one on each side, one from the front. Make sure that we've got good angles. It's doable. I just... Well, it's up to you. Murph, you're my guy. If anybody can do this, it's you. What is your actual assessment of the situation? Do you think we can take this vehicle and possibly speed our travel along? Or do you think it's better that we circumvent and move on? I am trusting your judgment on this call. Doable, yes. Wise, unsure. Well, thank you for your help. You've really Do you think we up. can take this vehicle? Yes. All right, let's take it, boys. This might be the craziest fucking thing we've done in, in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> this is... All right. We got two people and three snipers. I'm just hoping we... <laughs> We can land what we need to land. Well, we have two snipers and that, that dude with a sniper wire. <laughs> <laughs> so my thought process here is... Britt, you go one side, I go the other. Uh, set up, wait for the next time one exits the vehicle take him out, hope the other guy comes out. Now, uh, I, I would say that were I in that situation, I would not leave the armored vehicle. Agreed. I would use the armored vehicle and assault from there. That's why. That's I would suggest we wait until at least two individuals have exited the vehicle. If two come out. I agree. We don't take the shot right away. Unless you want to come with me. I like the idea of us being separate, one on each side. No, I, I agree. I think flanking is probably our best bet. But perhaps we should work in 
in two man teams or or maybe even or, you and I with an assault team in reserve I kind of like the idea of leaving Mouthy straight ahead and kind of being a diversion but that's just me I do not recommend it I think it sounds fun no that's not what we're gonna do um <laughs> You guys do exactly I'm not what you serious. Do. I Okay, I love you. <laughs> I say you two set up, get your position. I I will keep Bruce with me. We will set up if things go bad, I will have uh the M60 ready to go. So if nothing else, if the big gun starts barking, I can start throwing some throwing some lead that way and hopefully you guys can move and not be seen do not open up until we shoot I, I absolutely not. I'm I'm only going if things go sideways and the big gun starts barking if the turret gun begins to fire I believe we should all disembark yes break off and then rendezvous at a designated location Sounds good to me. All right, so before you guys go too far down this road, uh-huh. but I'm bunch. Let me move you over to a map. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. When we didn't have a map, it was better. <laughs> <laughs> this just got too real. <laughs> yeah, now now we're making real decisions that kill people. <laughs> All right, you guys are. I have you further this way. Oh man, we're way, way, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of recon rolls. <laughs> How far is that? Holy smokes. Holy crap. It's like I keep zooming out and I still don't see both objects. <laughs> well, I was trying to give you guys some distance to decide what you're going to do. 280 in a straight line as the crow flies. Yeah, you, you technically, they can't see you. You can't see them through the brush. And wood hexes, you can only see through three of them, if I remember correctly. Correct. Yeah. And I need to be within 10, ideally. That's your first range increment. Right, but you got to be within 10 and line of sight as far as all the other yeah, crap goes. Um, the... 50 cal, I think, was 20. The dragon off is only 10 on range, I believe, for first mm-hmm. increment. Yeah, but that's still just the first range increment. That's just a negative one after that. And then at at 30 hexes, which is 300 meters, it's a negative two. And don't you have like 16 pluses? Well, scope. Uh, but ideally, you'd want to do called shot, so those balance each other out. Chris doesn't want a negative one. (laughs) You could come back here on the road. It's not the negative one, to be honest. It's the, if we miss, shit gets real. You could be on the the road, effectively, with the 50 cal and shoot them from 290 meters. (laughs) Yeah, but they don't have the 50 cal. Oh, the Dragonov. That's right. Everybody's I a Dragonov range. You, I forgot you didn't have 50 cal. What do you have? I, the Dragonov. Oh, effectively. I I've just the Polish version of it. Um, now, I would recommend that someone go to the south. Absolutely. To, and uh, from the brush or the wood line to the south and take a shot from the wood line there. And then another one of us from the road direction. Would this rock be an elevated position? And by this rock, I'm going to change to an actual ping. <sighs> Technically, it's blocking terrain, and you're not supposed to be able to move into it. Okay, never mind. Cool. Now, my recon is not... It, it is adequate. But it is not exceptional. And... I believe I am better off taking a farther shot 
then I am risking them noticing me. Same. Oh no, me and you are staying way back. We are here to cover the retreat if this does if this goes south. And when the vehicle starts moving after that happens, yes. I would prefer to take the wooded position to the south that is roughly 200 meters from our target. And I could take the position that in the area where Kyle was just talking about. Behind the large rock near the road. In that, in that vicinity, yeah. Very well. Um, Which is uh, ten X's away. Yes, I have, I have quite the ways to go. And then I would say... I would say then Emmett and Bruce could set up at that second bend in the road, which is about 200 meters out, kind of along the edge of the road. And that also means you guys are going to have to cross the road as part of your recon roll. Yes, the the idea, at least in my head, is we cross it far away. as far away as possible, like where we are, we make that crossing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I'm just warning you ahead of time yep. that you will get no bonus from terrain for that. Understood. Okay. Um, where they are, or wherever they end up, the assumption is if shit goes south, the vehicle's going to move towards them. Now, if we do this correctly, I will be the only one that has to cross the road going to the south. Because you could stay to the north side of the road, maintaining cover and concealment, and work in closer to the BTR. And we would only risk one individual being spotted, myself, as opposed to multiple of us. Well, I'd only have a clear shot if I go all the way around over... Only a clear shot from a hundred meters. Well, yeah. Because that's the only shot snipers like, is the close (laughs) range increment. (laughs) You could shoot from this copse of trees to the north, which would only be roughly 90 meters. An easy shot, especially for an American. You cowboy shooters. <laughs> this is your position. This is your sniper hide. But I was just offering that it would be easier, or perhaps more concealed, if only one of us were crossing the road. I liked the position to the south. and I, yeah, You're right. Being out of that the is your choice. Comment, that's fine. That um, is your choice. And keep in mind... This is going to be, this is the stocking phase, right? This isn't going to be, we're done in 10 minutes. This could be a couple hours waiting on these guys. I mean, realistically, how do I get that? Um, That's not a clear shot though, right, Adam? That's blocking terrain. You can't be schmuck. Right. Between the rocks. But he could go from right here. Yes. Right. And this, I just mean in that general vicinity. And can retreat to behind this guy here afterwards. If things go south. They most assuredly will. I mean, really? Uh, no, that still doesn't work. Yeah, I, I like this spot right here. Very well, then. So, we will both cross the road. So, 100 meters to the south side of the road, basically. Yep. Southwest of them. Yeah. In a tree line with a 100 meter range increment. And I can take my time in the tree line and give myself a a little bit more, whatever you want to call it, concealment, cover, yada, yada, yada. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Want to be ghillie suit? All right. So tell you what, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to make a copy of everybody's thing. And then I'm going to mark them with a little red dot. And you're going to move them to where you're intending on going. Yep. So that's your intention move, basically. And how many squares? Are there? Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, move it. Does it not matter. Move it where you Where want. you are intending on going. 
is that where you're moving to? Is your planning on going to, Bruce? Is that in cover or is that in open? I mean, it's in the woods, so you'll get a plus one on your recon roll. But that's it. But it is visible. That spot behind that foliage is not visible. Okay. Holy crap, we're doing this. <laughs> All right. So, Bruce and Emmett, I'm not going to worry about your recon rolls because where you're intending on going is not visible to them. You're, you can move there without visibly doing that. So go ahead and move your pieces there. Murphy and uh, Edwards, on the other hand, start moving in that direction. And give me a roll, Murphy, for going across the road. So there'll be a f- flat roll. Nine and a two, so only one success. You are actively hiding. Do you want to push that roll? Yes. I'm just going to push the two. Okay. That's the only one you can push. I should ask who was going across the road first, actually. So, Murph. Yeah. Actually, can't you go for two successes if you have one? Can't you re-roll the nine? No. No. Oh, okay. You can only roll something that doesn't have a target on it or okay. a one. Six. So two successes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Edwards. So Murphy was going across first? Yeah. Okay. All right, Murph. So you go. Tell me what that looks like him going across the road. Methodically. <laughs> Not across the road, but comes to the edge, stares down, stares down, and then bolts across. Okay, move over into the tree line. And then, Edwards, you were going across next, is that correct? That is correct. Go ahead and uh, give me a roll for your recon. I got a nine and a three. And I will absolutely push it. And a two, so one success. But no stress. So. Okay. So tell me what that looks like, you going across the road. He gets up to the road, and he's got the, the rifle to his shoulder, and he's just waiting for his cue, and he looks to to his right down the road just to see if anything's coming, and then he looks back to his left, and he sees Murphy dart across the road. And he takes a deep breath and bolts across the road. As you bolt across the road, you hear, and I'm going to have to figure out how the fuck this roll needs to go because they saw Murphy. And all right. So the range on this thing is 20. So you're in the second range increment because that's 290. Let me roll their shit. This is bad. This is very bad. Murphy this might is die very right bad. now. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure that's a three, a four and a three, or a four and four, or something like that. Well, it's a 50 cal, so probably a three and a three. So, minus one. You're a moving target. That's another minus one. What's their bullet dice on this? Someone else is listening at home and being like, it's four. Yep, it's four for the rate of fire. <laughs> yep, rate of fire is, All right. is four. Oh, fuck. Uh, Chris, it's a four and a three. It's a crit three, four mm. damage. Oh, so if it hits at all, it automatically jumps to crit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, f- depending, it unless it hits the flak. flak, flak but it and also or cover. has a armor of zero, so... So if it hits Flack or Kevlar, which... Are you wearing a Kevlar, Jeremy? You know, I legitimately don't... Wait, who's know. getting shot at? Who is getting shot at? You are, Jeremy. Oh. you Because they no. saw someone go across the road, and oh, then they put you. Overwatch, and then another person ran across the road. Oh, okay. Okay. I 
don't have a flak or a Kevlar, so there's that. I got one success. You hear? Roll a uh, hit location. And nine other characters. And then a D10. Jeremy, what what hit location was it? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I'll at least get there first. Um, so, let's see. Critical injury table. Where's that? Yep. Yep. Critical injuries. They suck. They really, really suck. I've got it right in front of me. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm curious as to what it is. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. So I rolled chest. There's a torso. And then I rolled an eight. Which is torn intestines. So that sucks. Roll coolness under fire. That's not good. You roll coolness under fire. Because oh, you also might be suppressed. Mm, all right. I guess I'll keep that die. It's already done me wrong. A 10 and a 3. Okay, so you're not suppressed. Mm-hmm. All right, so what is the critical effect of the torn intestine? Let's see, one stretch. That's a stretch. Uh, negative one for diseasey shit. Okay. Yeah, it's disease stuff, but I still took four damage, which is stamina negative one and a disease virulence at negative three. Yeah, yeah. Plus, that's four points of damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you incapacitated by damage? I am not. Okay. Uh, w- no, no. Okay. I thought there was a thing about taking half your capacity damage or something like that. I no, thought there was. It's, a- it's when you're reduced to zero. The half is a in one hit is a Call of Cthulhu thing. Oh, okay. Get, get <laughs> games mixed up. Yeah. It's been a minute since I've actually taken physical damage, so I, I don't All right, so you're able to finish the rest of that movement, by the way. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. And now we're going to go into initiative. Oh, I man, do you, I can't, you'll never I can't get into a shot position, Murph. I can get two. I get two, two. <laughs> Chris gets two. And Kyle gets two. Wait, Kyle gets two? Bruce has this? Yeah. How does Bruce have? <laughs> Bruce does not have this. It's the other character. I was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh you yeah. can't do that, Kyle. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, we are in the. Things are intense right now, Bruce. You can't be. <laughs> All righty then. We can do it this way. Damn it. What do you want to do? Uh, Emmett will, uh, being where he's at, he will take overwatch at the edge of his first range increment, which would be, it kind of splits, so does it matter which one I take it on if they were to start heading this way? Yes, you have to pick a hex. Okay, well then I'll pick this one that takes up the whole road. Right here, that puts them just inside of my first range increment. And he will hold Overwatch on that if they start coming down the road this way. All right. Uh, Speaking of which, it's their turn. So it turns and starts to come down the road. Exactly what you thought it was going to (laughs) do. And next up, Ellis. Ellis is going to continue south. So he's going to move. Well, he is in a brush hex, I think. So that gives him a negative one to his movement. So he goes one and is going to roll mobility to um, try to get a little additional movement. Mm hmm. Uh, and see. Uh, it's one success, so he moves one more to the south, which is open. So he's going to go two more movement. One, 
two, and then he's gonna roll again to try to go a little bit farther. That's a, a one and a three, so he does not. And I'm not even gonna push it, because I'm not stupid. <laughs> Murph, you're up. I'm going to assume I saw him get hit. Yes, you you saw him get hit. You heard the burst from the BTR, and you saw him take a round. And keep going. Uh, you saw him move behind that rock, and that's about as far as you could see him. No, but I once meant- he was behind that rock, you you couldn't see him anymore. Yeah, but, he's, yeah. but I obviously know he's not down. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. um, but you're also the one they saw go across the road. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he doesn't know that. That's they fired at me, not him. That's a fair point. So, move one south. Then going to roll mobility to move again. Yeah, that takes a negative one on your mobility for the forest. Correct. Yep, 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 yep. So it becomes an A and a D. Mm-hmm. Or does it become a, a B and a C? I have A and a C now. Then it becomes B a B and a C. B and a C. It reduces your highest yep. one. Yep. And yep. increases your lowest one. Also, also, are you up. trying to infiltrate while doing this? Are you trying to sneak away so they don't see where you're going? Yeah. Yeah, so do I get a plus one for that? Yes. First one is a two. Second one's a ten. Okay. Do you want to... Was that the mobility or was that the, the recon? That was the mobility. Okay. To move right. again. And I can do that again, correct? Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Seven. And a ten. I am rolling a shitload of tens. Keep it up. Yep. So that's three. Emmett, you should probably roll a recon roll too, by the way, Emmett. We had a plus one. Because of line of sight. And now do you want me to roll recon as well? Um, yes. Go ahead and just roll recon for me. Plus one. He's got a lot of force between him and there. I know, but this is for when they inevitably possibly come around the bend. Because gotcha. I'm assuming he's not just standing there. He's trying to hide. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nine and a 12. Okay, so three successes. All right. Eight and a three. One success? Yes. Okay. LT, you're up. Um, I would quickly ask Emmett if I, he wants me to stay there with him or find cover. I mean, you should have already been in cover. Yeah, technically they can't see you because that that the lots of green in front of you is mm-hmm. foliage, and they yeah. can't see through that. They would be able to see into it, but not past it. What's the next move, boss? Just get ready. They're coming our way, and hopefully, hopefully Murph can find a shot before we have to, to do anything. Uh, if anything... Be ready to run. Should we stick together or should I try to swing up uh, farther north? Meta, you are the last one acting in this round. So I'm just letting you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right now, I just hold, I would just hold your position. I will. What is what? Whatever the hold is, where I, I delay my action or whatever. Let's just not do anything because the next turn is happening. Like afterwards, <laughs> and you you lose your actions essentially. Yeah, and you can't even really from where you're at because they can't see you. That means you can't see them. You can't even really put Overwatch anywhere. Effect. Exactly. Right. I just wasn't sure if like burn a couple. If I hit a mobility, if I could get up like behind that rock and split us a little bit. Is what was my thought process? You you could. You could, but that also puts you closer to them. But like, no matter what, they're not going to be able to get a shot there. Hmm. Three hexes of forest. They can technically see you from there. Okay, so this is, yeah. So, like, that would be... Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see them, but if they went past that little clearing, you'd be able to flank around them. That's Yeah, that was my, my initial thought. Yeah. So that would be... One, two, one three, that'd be two fast actions to get there. Yeah. It's four yeah. hexes, so yep. you wouldn't even have to push it. So, And it's completely not visible. It's your call. 
Yeah, Bruce would do that. He'd, he'd run up there, get behind a rock. All right. Um, Adam, before the next turn starts, can I put a, uh, uh, what do you call it, overwatch? Nope, because no. you used all your actions, uh, and yep. it's a fast action to set overwatch or a slow action if what you're doing is the sniper aim. Okay. You did too many things. All right, the BTR is up next. So it moves forward. One. Oh, man. Two, three, four, five, six. And it sets off your overwatch. You want to take some shots at the BTR? Yep. All right. Roll it. All right. That's a... What's this one get? I, this is actually my first time actually using this one. Uh, rate of fire is four. Five. Four? four? Rate oh. of fire. You have damage three, crit four. So we will we'll open her all the way up. Let her rip, tater chip. What's its armor rating? The armor rating on it is mm-hmm. zero. Okay. That's what I need now. All right. So that's a seven and a one on the regular dice and then two bullet die. Two successes on the bullet die. All right. So that's one success and then two on the bullet die. All right. And what was the damage on it again? Uh, The damage is three crit four. Okay, but yeah, the crit doesn't really matter at, at, on this per se. Um, because it's about penetration is what it is. Oh. Penetration. All right, so you're shooting from the front. Emmett, roll me a D10. A D10? D10. Uh, 10. One. Mm. <laughs> That's good, right? <laughs> All right, so yeah, you you and it you hit the vehicle. It rounds, you know. Keep track of how many rounds you had going off. Um, they're gonna take a shot though. Now, at the person that just lit them up. Here we go. So they're shooting into the tree where you are. Uh, they take another negative one for the tree shooting into trees. There we go, Emmett. Murph knows about that. Sure does. Call me a lumberjack. Okay, so they're... But they don't seem to hit you. Oh, holy crap. I hate this game. <laughs> Is that... That's a coolness under fire, though, nope, right? because I didn't get anything on the bullet dice. That's only if I get it on the bullet dice. If I'd have missed and got bullet dice, yeah. then yes. Oh, but no. gosh. I, hate this I rolled game. literally a three, a three, a three, and a one. <laughs> oh, man. Emmett's invincible. I'm, no, I'm going to throw up. No. That's what Emmett's going to do. Ellis. Ellis is currently still on mission at the moment. Um, Come on, he just... He's hearing it still going off. Yeah, so he's going to continue to loop around this clearing. So one, two, and then he's going to roll his mobility, which I've already forgotten what that value is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and see, yep, okay, okay. Yeah, but the mission's changed a little bit now that things got loud. Well, yeah, you know. Plans and first contact and whatnot. Uh, so that was two successes. He's got a nine and an eight. So he's going to make it two more hexes behind this lump of trees. And I don't think he can make it that far. So he's going to skirt around these woods before he tries going to the other one. So another two to skirt around the south side of the woods. And then he's going to roll mobility again. Which is an eight and a seven. So one and then into the the wood line there mm-hmm. yep and you're behind that blocking terrain yep 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 
Emmett, you're up. But you no longer have a slow action. You just have a fast action because you just used your slow action on your Overwatch shot. Right, because I didn't take it. So then I can just, I can still set Overwatch though, right? Technically, yes. you still have Overwatch, yes. Okay, yes. then so I will you can just maintain, continue to have your yes. fast action for, yeah. I will maintain And then that Overwatch. means. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the beginning of the next round. <laughs> We will roll. We'll do a roll off on the ranged attack. Uh, Can you drop prone? Or no, prone wouldn't help. You, would you, would it? No, no, prone is. The I'm same assuming name. he's prone. Yeah. Uh, with him setting he's up, prone. he would have sat up with the the gun and the yeah. In the prone with the M60, waited, he's yeah. prone on a bipod. It's right. I'm not. Yeah, worrying about that. Murphy. What kind of shot can I take first? Um, no, no, I. <laughs> <laughs> you could shoot at the fucking tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I'm what I'm saying is uh, I'm trying to remember. Slow aim will take take the turn. Yes, you could slow aim now, and then you could shoot next turn. Because slow aim, I could try to hit the driver like through the window or whatever, can't you? No, no. Well, no. that becomes You've, a college shot, doesn't it? Yeah. You would still have. Mm. That's good. Because no. That, okay, okay. Here's the thing. You can only do a called shot on exposed passengers or exposed components technically by the rules as written so really i'd just be shooting into the vehicle or shooting a tire we still need the vehicle true i mean I, at this point i could just fast aim and shoot the vehicle i mean can i aim for the front or the the top you know what i mean i mean the front's pointed at you so that's what you would hit if if you hit it, would be the front armor. So, doing a called shot or slow aim, none of that really matters at this point. That's what kind the of the called shot doesn't at. matter. The slow aim would just give you the plus two, and you're shooting at a vehicle, which would, yeah. Well, I've already got an A and an A, so I might as well just fire. Um, rate of fire two with the dragon off. That's surprising. Hey Emmett, what were real quick? Sorry, Emmett, what was your? I gotta redo a thing real quick. What was what were the dice that you rolled when you took the shot, like at the first time? Would, when you shot at him, what were the your dice? A and an A. Okay, all right. Now that I think about it, it bounces out anyway because they were moving, but you get a bonus for shooting at a large, like a big target. So those right. two balance each and other. And then yeah, machine gunner, all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I just yeah. Went with so it still a. ends up with an A. And I was just making sure I gave you the right nope. right size of dice. Okay, yep. go. Sorry. So with rate of fire two, that means can get two shots off. Yes, that's two bullet uh, die. Two bullet die, but that wouldn't be at slow aim. It'd be two bullet dice, not two shots. Yeah, but I thought with a sniper rifle, um, yeah, I thought it would still only be two shots. No, it's bullet dice. Whatever your rate of fire is, is how many bullet dice you roll, and then that then what's on your bullet dice determines how many fi- shots were fired. Yes, even with a sniper rifle. Okay. Yes, 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 because it's a semi-auto rifle. Yeah. So you're just like, pop, 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 pop. So you could roll one ammo die, or you could roll two if you want to. But you also only have a magazine of... Of ten. And if you empty it out, then you reload. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't just take two shots. No, you can take one shot. Yeah, or just take roll an ammo shot. die. So A and an A, I'll take one shot. Okay. So it'd be a normal aimed shot at this point. Yep. Ten and a seven. Three, so three successes. Okay. Uh, roll me a d10. I got a 10 as well. Um, okay. Good to know. And wait, so what's three your three. damage? What's your armor? Three and three. And um, how many successes did you get? Three, three successes. And it is a three damage, three critical, and the armor is zero. Okay. All right, that's what I need to know. Cool. Murphy again. He doesn't actually get to go again. LT, what are you doing? I would. I'd probably just move one more spot and wait. Am I still behind? I'm still behind the rock, right? Uh, yes. Uh, no, not there. If you move not there, there, they can see you. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to stay right where I'm at. Okay. Back to the top of the order. By the way, when Murph squeezed off his round, he's like, 
I can't believe I'm fucking shooting a BTR with a sniper rifle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So they're going to take their shot at Emmett because that was who they were shooting at. Emmett, you had your shot on them, right? Yes. You had the Overwatch on them as well. Overwatch on them. Okay. Murphy, I'm going to assume you also have Overwatch on them as well. Just for shits and giggles, because you would have done that. It'd be yeah, dumb it's, well, Overwatch I, if you're going to do a name shot. I tried to do it before, but it wasn't right in the action economy. All right, so this is what it is. It is a flat ranged roll off, basically. So whoever who rolls the most successes gets to shoot first between the three of us. Okay. So there's no bonuses for nothing, no negatives for anything. It's just a flat ranged combat. Flat ranged combat? Oh, that sucks. Flat. So well, okay, heavy. or heavy weapons for okay. you. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> so A and A, A and A, and whatever they have. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Eight and an eight. What? Are, what's with the doubles? Yeah. Quit cheating, Chris. Uh, who's cheating? I mean, Adam threw the dice across the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I actually took what I dropped on the ground. So. All right, Brian, what did you get? Ten and a five. Two successes. Okay. Chris, what did you get? Eight and an eight. Two successes. I rolled... We end right there. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God! Ah! (laughs) <laughs> oh, and I hate that you're celebrating it. Oh, yeah, that does make it worse. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's like because he knows he just like did it. <laughs> That's oh. why he threw the dice across the room. Yeah, I'm about to throw that my dice across the room. Fucking great. Quit playing this game. <laughs> this is the kind of combat I figured it'd be from the beginning. Us versus a tank. <laughs> <laughs>